Howdy music fans, thanks for joining me today. I'm doing a video that I've kind of wanted to do for a little while. Um, it's always fascinated me that there's so many black blind blues men in the world from the 20s and 30s. Um, so I wanted to do a video on that. I did a little bit of digging and as to why this is, and of course, um, some of it's, I guess, you know, I could have figured out the common sense, you know, Blacks were usually poor. Um, blues was their music, of course. And um, if you're poor and you catch all kinds of diseases, any diseases, um, as you know, many people did, because uh, there were a lot, there were a lot more incurable diseases back then. Um, you know, some of them caused loss of sight. Um, uh, and then on top of that, even if they were curable, you might not have the money to get the, the, the treatments that you need, the medical care that you need. And so a lot of people went blind. And as far as um, then, you know, the more important question, what about becoming a musician? Well, uh, that was one way, you know, bl even if you were blind in your family, you still had to pull your weight and, and care and, you know, make your way in the world once you got older. So one way you could do that was by becoming you know musical making music and hoping to make a living at it which many did and i'm sure many more probably did not that we've never even heard of so i've always had tremendous tremendous respect for um you know people that are playing you know music and they're blind that just that blows my mind so I thought I would do a little video on black blind bluesmen from you know the 20s and 30s, and I've got my my little generic at the crossroads shirt. I think I got this in New Orleans many 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 years ago. I'm not sure where I got it, but I think that might be where I got it. Um, anyway, I'm just going to run through these. I'm not going to you know go into depth because there's a lot of them here, um, and I probably don't have like I say, nearly all that there are out there. Anyway, this first one is somebody I don't know anything about, and I don't even know if I could pick him out. I couldn't, probably, but it's just on a compilation, Bill Wyman's Blues Odyssey. And there's a guy on here named Blind Willie Walker, uh, and I think I used him in a, um, uh, yeah, Searching um, the Desert for the Blues. I think I used him in a, um, oh, that's, sorry, that's Blind, blind uh, South Carolina Rack. I used him in that um name every state video or whatever in the song so south carolina rag by blind willie walker on here then we get into blind blake and i don't really have much on blind blake i got a few couple of burns that i got i think from the library years and years ago there's one blind blake um georgia bound and then here's another one blind blake ragtime guitar and for uh, ragtime guitars foremost finger picker so that's another burn that I have. And then I've got a Japanese issue of some, you know, another Blind Blake collection, I believe. Um, just called The Complete Recordings, Volume 3. It's funny. The Complete Recordings, Volume 3. Anyway, Blind Blake was a ragtime picker, and uh, he could play, pick blues and rags and anything. And he was a fantastic picker. Amazing guitar player. Um, and he's famous for Diddy Wad Diddy and uh, Police Dog Blues and I'm sure pl plenty of other great tunes as well. Next on the list, we have Reverend uh, Gary Davis, also called Blind Gary Davis or Blind Reverend Gary Davis. Um, and he was uh, a big name in the village in the, I guess, the 60s, in the folk and blues revival of the 60s. And a lot of people got to study under him. Um, and maybe in San Francisco, I don't know. But people like Rory Block and then Stefan Grossman and probably Happy Trom, people like that have all gotten to study under um, Reverend Gary Davis. Uh, this is called Early Home Recordings. And then the next one I have is called um, Riverside. And he was, you know, uh, famous for doing a lot of spirituals, but then also kind of against his wife's wishes, doing a lot of blues as well, the devil's music. Um, this has half Pink Anderson and half blind Gary Davis, or Reverend Gary Davis. Twelve Gates to the City was one that he was known for, um, Keep Your Lamp Trimmed and Burning. And Samson Delilah was his big one, I think. The Grateful Dead covered that, and a lot of other people have covered that. Um, yeah. And these guys were also great songwriters, too, not just musicians and, and finger pickers and slide players, also great songwriters. This one is just called, um, uh, what is this one called? Pure Religion and Bad Company, Blind Reverend Gary Davis. Um, yeah. 
I'm not going to read all the tracks off. I'm just going to show the, show the CDs. Another one, Blind Gary Davis, Harlem Street Singer. This was put out in, uh, what was it, see, 1960. Yeah. Um, and that's about the time that these people were, were coming to him to get, you know, guidance in playing guitar. Death Don't Have No Mercy, Hot Tuna covered that. That was a big one. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, here, Samson Delilah's on this one. Let us get together right down here. Um, I certainly remember that one. I don't know if that was a big one, but um, a lot of good songs. Another one by him, A Little More Faith. And let's see, this one he does, You Gotta Move, the Fred McDowell song, which is attributed to Fred McDowell, but God, who knows, right? And then Motherless Children is a big one. I'll Fly Away is a big, is a, I assume, a traditional that everybody's done. Um, lots of great stuff. And then the last, my last blind Reverend Gary Davis is Blues and Ragtime. And this is on, a, it looks like Yazoo or Shinachi label. Um, Shinachi, yeah. Hesitation Blues is on here again. Cincinnati Flow Rag. Um, yeah, lots of great stuff. Man, amazing players. Uh, and then next we have Blind Boy Fuller. Uh, and this one has uh, Trucking My Blues Away is, is the title. And I think his his big one was um, was trucking my blues away, and then he, and maybe other you never can tell is on here. That's obviously not the Chuck Berry tune. Um, Meet Shaken Woman. That was one that was yeah that I, I think people might know and that's been covered. Weeping Willow is another one. Um, but I and and then Rattlesnake and Daddy. That's on this one. And this one is called Rag Mama Rag. That's another one. And I'm I'm a Rattlesnake and Daddy and Rag Mama Rag by Blind Boy Fuller. Those are ones I think that people might have heard. Um, yeah, boy, just wonderful, wonderful stuff. Amazing that these guys could be such great guitar, you know, great musicians, great finger pickers, great guitar players. I don't know how they did it. And then, of course, one of the biggest ones, the darling of Paramount Records and the blues of the day, uh, Blind Lemon Jefferson. I guess he was pretty big in the 20s, I believe. And Black Snake Moan is one of his big ones. And Bad Luck Blues, Matchbox Blues, which Carl Perkins kind of redid. Corina Blues, which Taj Mahal and everybody else redid. I believe that's the same tune. Um, yeah, this one is funny. Almost every single song is a blues and has blues at the end. And you can, is if you look down, it, it looks, you know, it's all like uniform until there's a few in the middle that aren't. But like blue, 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 blue. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Blind Lemon Jefferson. Next, one of my absolute favorites is um, Blind Willie Johnson, also a reverend like Reverend Gary Davis, and I just love his his voice and his slide playing, and his songs. He has God Moves on the Water, and You're Gonna Need Somebody on Your Bond, which uh, of course Rising Suns, Taj Mahal, and um, Ry Cooter did. Um, Jesus Make Up My Dying Bed, which everybody has done under that name and other names. Motherless Children, again, Dark Was the Night, Cold Was the Ground. Um, boy, such great songs. Um, trying to find some more that maybe people will have heard from. God Moves on the Water. Larkin Poe just did a beautiful cover of that. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, Sweeter as the Years Roll By. God Don't Never Change. Um, let your light shine on me. Keep your lamp trimmed and burning again. He does this one also. So a lot of great stuff. Oh, if I had my way, I'd tear the building down. So that's another um, version of uh, Samson and Delilah. Wonderful stuff. And I believe this is everything of his. It is, does say the complete Blind Willie Johnson. And I haven't seen anything. Every one CD I've ever looked at uh, overlaps. And it's all stuff on this. So I believe that this is everything. Next, another one that, of course, Bob Dylan brought some fame to by doing a song with his name uh, as the title, Blind Willie McTell, uh, 1927 to 1933, the early years. One of my favorite tunes of his is Dying Crap Shooter Blues, but I like lots of his songs. Um, he's another one that's great. You know, I'm not a big 12-string guitar fan, but he, he just he kills it on the 12-string guitar. It's fantastic. Um, Broke Down Engine Blues is the, is one that Bob Dylan covered on either on a, a World Gone Wrong, I believe. Uh, Georgia Rag is one that I, people have heard of, and Statesboro Blues is probably his biggest one. Stomp Down Rider is one that Guy Davis uh, did a, covered and made an album, made a title album for, the title of the album was also Stomp Down Rider. 
uh there is traveling uh blues on here savannah warming up to me um yeah southern can is mine i think that might have been one that was pe people knew at the time and these guys were you know playing with the, the thumb as the bass uh like on the piano uh, and then playing with one or two fingers as picking out the melody, you know, they were a band. They were a one man band and they would play dances and they would have people dance. They might have somebody with them on harmonica or washboard or something. But oftentimes it was just, you know, one guy uh, playing the dance uh, or, uh, you know, a, a little juke joint or whatever. And people dance. Uh, it's just, yeah, amazing to, to think about that. The best of Blind Willie McTell classic recordings of the 1920s and 30s um yeah i'm not gonna read all these these are there is some overlap here like a lot of it it looks like it's overlap as a, on that other one and then this one is a later one this is blind willie mctell um boy i can't read this at all um atlanta 12th string um and this has kill it kid and the razor ball which i think were kind of big ones of his and also broke down engine dying crap shooters blues is on this little delia is on this and these were recorded this is on atlantic and i believe these were recorded in the 60s maybe um these might be his last ever recordings um let's see record oh no um 1949 all selections uh 1972 is is cop is the publishing for atlantic but it looks like they were recorded in atlanta in 1949 still i believe that is later than yeah well that is these other things are 20s and 30s and 20s and 30s so 1949 this these may be his last recordings i don't what i don't know i'm not sure but this is a wonderful wonderful recording um and last i have not a guitar player but i thought i'd throw him in there because as i was going through my collection he was came up at the end and he was blind and black and a bluesman so i put him in there uh sonny terry of the great uh sonny terry and brownie mcgee duo and i have i'm not going to pull out all my sonny terry and brownie mcgee i'm just going to show some um solo sonny terry this one is with uh johnny winter willie dixon and uh somebody sylvie hannock it looks like or yes sylvie hamnick or and this is called whoopin and uh, another great, great musician, wonderful musician, great singer and great uh, um, harmonica player. And, um, of course, a wonderful duo with uh, Brownie McGee. And then the next one, Sonny is King, another one that is, looks like it's on uh, Prestige or, yeah. Sonny is King. And this one came out in 62, uh, it looks like. One monkey don't stop the show. Ain't that the truth? And the last one I have here is um, Black Knight Road, and I believe this has um, this is like it has some full band stuff on it, um, and it's really really good as I recall. So anyway, um, quite an interesting phenomenon in my opinion. And then as we move, you know, and there's lots of blind um, musicians, of course. There was Jeff Healy, and there's Stevie Wonder, and um, I know I'm missing somebody really big that I'm that's, I'm blanking on besides Stevie Wonder, but um yeah i find it just pretty amazing um that these people um can play you know blind can play music uh, another guy I just discovered i don't know anything about him i haven't heard him but i just saw his name is blind john davis and he was a piano player that kind of got a little bit big in europe after touring with big bill big bill brunzi in the probably 60s i assume Anyway, um, let me know what you think. Did I miss some? Do you have some blind black bluesmen that I don't know about or blues women that I don't know about um, that are, are not in here? It'd be cool to, to find more. Um, an interesting phenomenon. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.